And we are live welcoming the viewers to the second semifinal of the day, the last match of the week. Featuring Will Stett's sons and Sayonara Detska, I am this one guy, joined today by none other than our illustrious friend Dada. Hey, bud. I'm just used so I won't get fined. Wait a second, what? <laughs> you didn't like Was I gonna find you if you didn't show up for this? <laughs> yes. I asked you five minutes ago. You're gonna find me, and the NBA would have found Magic Johnson. Anyway, this is our second and final semifinal. Determine our second finalist team who will be meeting up with Konyo's big team in the winners bracket final. Who do you think it's gonna be? Uh, Sinar Detka. I think they have the advantage here. I'm fairly sure that. Uh, Will Stetson's has a lot of weaknesses currently in how the pool's set up. Not that Sinar Detka is a perfect team. I think they also have certain weaknesses. But I think Will Stetson's has a lot more in comparison. Will Stetson continues to not be able to roll <laughs> with the two. I don't know, I, f I feel like, I just, Sayonara Dedka is this team that I just like, I still don't know how good I actually think they are, because I just, you, I feel like I just haven't been able to judge their skill level by their previous matches at all. It's weird. I think they're, I mean, they're obviously really good mechanically. It also kind of depends on who's actually here, because right now Fallen and Okinatori are offline. So I don't know if they're going to actually be here for the match or what. Well, that's problematic. Yeah, like, that's two of their best players on that team. Like, easily. So, we'll see. They, the other five are here. So, they'll have Desu, Komachi, Baka, Blazink, Zin, and Darren. But Fallen and Oki Notori are like, you, you can't be missing them. Like, you just can't. <laughs> I know this is like potentially suboptimal scheduling, but because their time zones are super dispersed being all throughout Russia, but I don't know. Meanwhile, Will Stett's sons, uh, I think have most of their roster. They shouldn't have Chesman in us. Why, do, why should they not have Chesman in us? I think he's not online. Okay, you are correct about that. But I'll have Will Ignite, Eddie, maybe? Eddie's been the person they've been missing the most, I feel like. Eddie is... Let me check Discord. Eddie is currently online. He's online on Discord too. Yeah, so he might actually be here. Uh, and they always have Will Ignite, Yuki Chan. I'm sure they'll have Yummy. They have Shine Root? I think so, because I know he was practicing the pool. Yeah, they do have Shine Root. So, like, it seems like I think they have everyone except Chaz. Which, no flame, but is it really that big of a deal? Um, the only time it matters is, like, if he's at the level he was on in 4WC last summer. That's, like, the only time... <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's, like, the best I've seen him play. Put it that way. Uh, other than that, on that team, maybe for a couple maps, sure, but not for, like, everything. You see, of course, Sinar Detka winning the roll, which was not hard because Will literally rolled a two. Um, so they'll have first warm up, first pick, second, or uh, first pan, second pick. 
going with Garakuta Doll Play. I don't understand. <laughs> it's the tiff name. I don't know. I can't. I don't think I'm familiar with this one. This is the map where it is. This is mapped by Toybot. Ooh. Back in 2016. I've never seen this. Sasakura UK Clutter Remix. This map is very hard. I mean, I'm sure it is. It sounds like a map that would be hard, especially, I don't know, Toybot does like interesting things with his maps sometimes. Also, can I just say, like, the new font on the new website is like really nice for titles and headers, but looks really bad as like body text. Yes, I agree. Okay, all right. It can actually look like the titles on and stuff on pages look really good. I will fully agree with that, but the body text with that font just does not look good. Which is always the problem when making like documents and spreadsheets and stuff is like you have to find a font that looks good for headers and you have to find a font that looks good for all the rest of the text because they often don't overlap. Unless it's Varela Round, in which case everything looks good with Varela Round. Okay, you're addicted. I am, you're right. You know I take my notes for university in, Var in Varela Round. You should take it in Times New Roman like a proper boomer. I write my papers in Times New Roman if they request that they are written in Times New Roman, but otherwise I pretty much use Varela Round for everything because it's a very clean sort of font. I'm not gonna comment on the background. <laughs> Chez saying in Discord, I can't believe I just got called washed. I mean. Wait, they. Wait. They just didn't play and they team failed. That's BM. That that's BM. That's like man. Omega BM. Like if you want to skip warm up, just say so beforehand, instead of team failing. <laughs> like I don't want to like. Do some like force no fail bullshit so that they don't fail the what the fuck is this client doing? So they don't... Eddie? <laughs> is Pro... Wait, what is playing? Pro's client doing? What is Mario's client <laughs> Wait, doing? What? He's playing. I mean it's team failed. He can't be playing. But now it's frozen. What data is it picking up? I don't might, know, dude. I I'll just see what happens. We're 20. just gonna see what happens. He has 23% accuracy. Well, I guess we're just gonna skip warm ups and go straight into bands. I don't know why they didn't just say something ahead of time instead of like BMing, but apparently today is just everyone BMs day. Hey man, our BM was tactical. And this and is. And tasteful. He's... This is not tasteful. He's Pro still is playing. still playing. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like the match, the match actually didn't finish. It didn't ever do the like matches finish. Oh my screen. god, Mario is literally solo. He's literally carrying. soloing this. One v seven. So he's actually playing. I don't know how this happened. I've never. I don't know that I've seen this occur before. This is really weird. <laughs> The double hidden ban coming out from Sayonara Detka. Not surprised. I didn't know this was possible. <laughs> I love I love T1G. Tig. Tig. Okay, so Sayonara Detka but double ban hidden will set Sun's double ban speed.
I'm, I'm not even gonna bother like aborting this or anything. I'm just gonna let him play it out because he's almost done. <laughs> this is so funny. Just think of it as pros warming up. Yeah, Mario gets and... to be warmed up and nobody else is. Yeah, everybody's just discussing Ben. Okay, the real question is what's gonna happen when I pick the first map? Um, You wanna experiment? It's It didn't happen. Nothing happened in, in the client. Probably it'll switch over to the team finished playing. I wonder if it'll make me like restart my client or something. We'll see here. Once he finishes and goes to the next screen. Actually, what if I panic now? Okay, I panicked and nothing happened. Alright. Fascinating. Did you pick the map? Yeah. Yeah, uh... I put the map in. Panicking isn't doing anything. Uh. Oh, it, it didn't change the it map. It didn't actually change. It says it changed, but it didn't actually change. Oh, there's Okinotori. Okay, Okinotori is here. So he's maybe practicing offline or something. I'm gonna restart my client real quick and see what happens. I know that's going to result in not being able to see anybody on the screen, but uh, we'll, we'll try to work it out as we go. That's just the you problem. I've like never seen what just happened. Yeah, it still says it's that map. So like it changed the beat map, but it didn't change the beat map. I'm not really sure. There we go. Okay, whatever. I thought you were gonna get demerited. Alright, so now we've got Coconut Mall. <laughs> and we're bracket resetting over in Mudkip Cup. What a surprise! Was it 7 0? 7 1. Oh. On the bright side, when I restarted the client, everybody actually showed up. Please clap. Oh, actually, that's not true. They, wait, yes, they did. There's people. N wait, five, six. Okay, there. I'm not seeing whoever's in slots seven and eight, but I'm seeing everybody else. That's insane, dude. All right, so we're missing two people, but whatever, we'll figure it out. We're just gonna do the thing where I close and reopen those two clients a few times, and like maybe if we get lucky, they show up. This is, I feel like, I don't know, this is a really RNG pick to first pick against Sayonara Detko of all teams. Like, Okinotori is just gonna FC, right? Like, isn't that what's gonna happen? I mean, like, this isn't a map that. You're looking at just one FC though, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is on the easier side. Yeah, uh, that's true. This is like... Probably one of the easier maps in the pool, I guess? Honestly, like, the hard parts are the two streams after the first break, and then the end. Currently, nobody's missed besides Mario. Yeah, Shinro oh. and Okinotori both dismissed at the same time. Your argument is no longer valid, unfortunately. Shushing face emoji. Shushing face emoji. It's fine. I have hereby been shushed. Yeah, I don't know on Sayonara Ditka if uh, Darren and Blazink are FCing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna operate under the assumption they are. While Mario's client just died. Okay, he's back. He's off sync now, though. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What is the client Mario? Like, it's literally him. <clears throat> Schrodinger's FC. Oh my god. Oh, Will. Oh. Do not know whether they're seeing or not. We're just, until gonna, we open we're just the box. gonna panic real quick and see what happens. If it oh. catches Mario up. It did. Ignite and Mario are in the what same thing. What is team. going on? <laughs> the map's already over. <laughs> well, Blazink did not FC. 
Uh, okay, well, Sayonara Dutka won by, like, 11 million points. Kaoki no Tori, Darren, and Blizzink all FC'd. Okay, I need water. That was, like, truly an experience with the tournament client. That was a tournament client moment. I have no idea what I just watched, but it was really bad. Because this client is just garbage. Can I have another, like, just pop off fucking complaints mode moment? Because Jesus, dude. It's actually unacceptable that it's 2020 and this client is still this non functional. On the bright side, we now have Darren and Blue Zinc visible on screen, so. That's good. What's good? Uh, Blazink and Darren are now visible in the client. Good job, Pepe. Get to see the first pick from Sayonara Detka with the early break point advantage now. They just pick like. They actually just they pick, pick free mod, right? Free mod one, apparently. They pick Lika. They don't just pick free mod. I don't yeah, I didn't think this was actually gonna be their pick. I, I I don't know what I would expect. They don't been hidden, so I mean, I would have maybe thought like Hard Rock One or Hard Rock Three. But it's free mod one instead, which is odd because like, isn't this really hidden favored? As far as yes. the hard rocks go, so like they banned two hiddens and they're picking the hidden favorite free mod. I, I don't really um, get that at all. I mean, one of the hiddens is just an auto ban, and then the other hidden. It's hidden three, one hundred percent ban rate. Yes. Oh no, or it was picked last it match. It should be. It was picked last it match. It should no, be. Right. It's hundred percent pick ban because it was banned in all the matches except for the one it was picked in. It was picked in uh, Poga. No, the other one. Okay. It was picked in Death Sentence, I want to say, versus uh, Chomama. Why oh. would they leave? Yeah, I don't know. They an Air Six hidden up against Artizan. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh well. All players are ready. All right, well, Will Stet's son's gonna over mod. We've got Will Ignite Yuki Chan all going hidden. Shiner no mod. He tends to be, I think. They're, they're I feel like they're no mod player on free mods. Uh, Okinotori hidden, and then Darren Hard Rock. So we are gonna see one Hard Rock. I have a bold prediction. We're gonna get eight FCs at the break. Maybe Darren won't, but. He's hard rocking, so it doesn't count. But yeah, I went and looked up that other match. RT Wizen did, in fact, carry. He had the highest score by a million points. Oh, Yuki Chen already ruined my prediction. And so did Ignite. <laughs> it's over for you. Also, Yuki Chen is like literally their hidden one trick player. I'm kind of surprised that he. Whoa, why? Yuki Chen and Ignite are struggling. It's okay, it's still very early on into the map. Also, Desi with the early break. So, three FCs to two. Sayonara Detka. In the Desi, driver's but... seat. <laughs> Thank you for using your catchphrase. <laughs> That's Poke's catchphrase, not mine. Okay. Thank you for stealing someone else's catchphrase. <laughs> I'm surprised Desu can play after uh, 18 UTC. Yeah, I don't actually know what the whole the, the deal was with that whole thing, to be okay, honest. Okay, Slider. Hey, Kamachi! Kamachi Baka got fast slidered, and then Darren and Okinatori broke right after. Ooh, this is comebackable. That's very comebackable with two FCs and two long combos. Desi breaking too, there's literally no combo on Sayonara Detka. Will's team just wins this, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's two breakpoints to start. I feel like that's been happening. Oh, there's been a lot of breakpoints in these matches. I don't know exactly why, but... Shineru and Will both popping off here for Will Stet's sons and Ignite. Well, sorry I said your name, buddy. I think Will is Seed? 
or at least yeah, has Will, been Will and Shiner. Oh, Will oh, breaks hey! it. Yeah. Shiner might have too, though. Uh, well, Shiner broke in the last five combo, but it doesn't matter because it's literally a 19 million point win. Um, that was not even slightly close. So one one back to back break points. I guess that's. Just I feel like happens. this has been a trend with Cyanide Deadcut Dead Cut where they just pick horribly. I I thought they picked badly last week. I, I mean, they got away with it, but. Also, Will Stetson with the ninety three percent. This is your act player, everybody. Yo, it's a combo game. It's fine. <laughs> he he comboed on him. Game game. Goodbye, Mr. Jack. So we're getting two free mods in a row here. Uh, can I get mod in Hippo Cup so I can uh time Chez out? Nope. You can't come and shit talk and chat while you're not playing the match. Chez quit W. I don't even know why he's on the team. He's actually washed. I stepped down off. I stepped down off this team for you. Actually, I stepped down off this team for Rylan, and then you came in and swooped it and did nothing. It's not a good look, Chess Bananas. Chess Bananas. It's almost ever as bad as when he cheated in looks. CS:GO. Dada, why are you still molding? I'm not mauled. I'm not mauled. I'm. Mauled. I'm not You're mauled. You're fully mauled. I am not mauled. I have no reason to be mauled in this match. Besides maybe the easy bracket, but it's okay. What do you do for mods here? You can chant hidden, ignite, uh, hard rock? Or uh, hidden, will? I ignite guess, is not hard rocking. Do you double hidden, sure. just will and Yuki chan hidden, and then ignite and yummy? Will and easy, Yuki or will chan easy. Hidden. Okinotori, either easy or hidden. Komachi Hard Rock, maybe? I feel like Oki, Darren Hard Rock. Oki might Darren be hard rock. No, Oki might be easy, I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's find out. In it's 3, 2, 1. Will easy, Let's jam. Will easy, Yuki hidden, and then Komachi, Vaka, and Darren both Hard Rock. Hmm. With Oki and Dasu Nomad. I feel like that's a mistake by Sayonara Deku, just because this on Hard Rock is just so much more missable. Let's find out. If the client ever loads, at least, we'll find out. Hopefully. Did somebody... D okay, there we go. Something DC? Nope. I can't decide my feelings on easy on this map because I feel like people have alternately popped off but also inted with easy. Uh, easy makes most of the stacks really simple. Like, the stacks and the finger control part are very simple. It's just that you're at a risk of misreading some of the jumps. Especially the the jumps at, like, the, the end-ish of the map, where it's just, like, very off-timed. Ignite has the first break, Kamachi Baka. Following. Finger control section, everybody should make it through most of that. I feel like, I don't know, misses on this map always feel kind of random because it's not like an aim miss. It's usually just like a weird like finger control or maybe a misread on a stack oh. sort of miss. Like Most of mine are aim misses, but I'm, I guess, the exception. Well, I guess it's like different to miss like aim on on a control aim map versus missing aim on a nomad one map you know what i mean like it's a different yeah. kind of aim like yuki chan finding a break through here, coming into the Komachi stack Baka. nobody broke on the stack besides komachi breaking slightly earlier but okay no Tori and desu both have seeing against will and yummy Oh, Ignite. Oh, Ignite and Darren trading breaks. Yeah, it's actually pretty even in terms of combo. Will Setsons is slightly ahead oh, because of Yuki-chan's oh, okay, no, missing will swap the lead over. Oh, Darren missing as well. That's uh, an FC gun. Or, no, not an FC gun, but it's a long combo gun. Uh, it was Okinotori okay, that had the FC. Uh, interesting. So now it's just Desu. Like, nobody else... 
How much and remember, has remember that years? Will has easy, so they're actually leading by much more than this. Yeah, they're leading by like seven million. And Desu loses his FC. That's like GG. As long as Will's team just doesn't completely die in the last third of the map, this is going to be a really big lead really quickly. Yummy still FCing with very solid accuracy. Will still FCing with easy. Nope, just kidding. It's okay though, because Desu Thanks. broke as well. It's fine. Yummy's still FCing. Yuki's got a big combo. Ignite's got a pretty decent combo. It's like going to be 10 million points here. Actually, yeah, more than that's 18 million points. Notary breaks just for good measure. All right, well, it's time to start thinking about the next pick because this one is uh, in the books. Will set suns looking pretty solid here. Yummy is actually a gamer, as it turns out. You think he has gamma? I mean, it, this isn't usually the maps he play. He, he, he like the, it, this isn't a map on the style of the maps he usually plays. Wait. Like, Fix that sentence. So I don't know. Beats me. Komachi Baka missing on the 270 BPM stack there. See, so Yummy will see in the end here. Yes, he did. Yep. That was a very impressive play from Yummy. 37 million points. 98.47 NAC. 37 million points before easy. Yummy didn't have easy. No, Will Stetson. Oh, I, I was I, talking I about you Yummy's meant, like, score, not the difference. I thought you the meant the teams. difference, yeah. Yeah, okay, no, no, no. Fair. Just Yummy's score. They, they had five sevens in their score. That's kind five of, seven? That's kind of aesthetic. 77,702,577. <laughs> It wow. did include 5-7, yes. Yummy uh, actually popped off. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. Yummy's a gamer, as it turns out. In case anybody was wondering, Yummy is definitely a gamer. Let's see what Sayonara deck uh, will pick. That was good for rank 18 on the map, by the way. Congrats. Congrats. Do you go... I would go hard rock here. Yeah, I was no gonna question. say I would go hard rock. Maybe hard rock one. Hard rock one is fair. I would go hard rock three though, if it's not. Yeah, banned. that's the other one. No, it's still open because there were there were no hard rock bands. No hard rock bands. No free mod bands. One DT band. One no mod band. Two hidden bands. So got a fair amount of options here, but. Nomad one or hard rock one. Just, I feel like just throw in some aim, like something really different than what they've been picking. Or you can just pick the last three mod. All three free mods are gonna get played in a row here with uh, Hanako Dokonoko. Oh. It's weird not to have to change the mod in the lobby for three maps in a row. <laughs> just all three free mods. I feel like this map is uh, both super FCable but also super intable. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I think I didn't have this map on stream for you guys because I think I was watching the other map. Thank God, me and yeah. Trev, we were gamers on that map. That was awkward. I was like going back and forth trying to get as many maps from both of those matches as I could. Yeah, because it's, you, it's you, like, Dress fault for going to tiebreaker. It's yeah, weird, that but. match went really long. And then your team was stalling, but the other team was trying to speed run. They it was like really just a weird situation. I feel like we had a, a, a good run stalling, and then we stopped stalling after it was clear that Zanik was still in the match. Yeah. Did, what time did his match end up finishing? Um. 20 minutes after hours. Oh, jeez. I guess it doesn't help that your match was relatively quick just because it was 7 3. Like, would that take maybe an hour and 10 minutes? They, their match was 7 0. What? What was he playing? God. In? He was playing Rickma. Rickma nuts. 
I like the map in your guys' match where Bancho just didn't give me the all players are ready notification. Like, it just didn't happen. <laughs> so oh, you, everyone was like sitting there waiting. I'm like, what? what? And then someone's like, T1G? I'm like, what? That, don't, that's, that didn't tell me everyone was ready. All right, so we got Mario coming in for the hard rock. Yuki Shan, of course, the hidden slave for Will Set Sons, appropriately, as we were just talking about Rikma. <laughs> Ignite, Shine, Ignite Renomad. Renomad. Shine Renomad. And then... I'm guessing Blazink, Desu, both hard rock. Yes, that is yep. correct. Did you know that Konyo's is not a permitted term on Twitch? Yes, because Twitch has yeah. Spanish filters. Twitch filters a lot. Like, I can't put death in the stream title. When death sentence is playing, I can't put their team name in the title. I have to censor it. And you can't actually censor one letter. You have to censor both vowels. You, you have to put, like, D asterisk asterisk TH. <laughs> because Twitch. Yeah. I mean, like, I can understand, kind of, but also it's... I mean, deaf is not a, a censorable term, I think. There's yeah. too many things with deaf in them. Yeah, I don't think that's really worth the trouble. Like, also, death metal? I don't know. Yui, or not Yui, uh, Nya Ten was asking about free mod picks and, like, any of them being hard rock. And, like, I feel like if anything was going to be hard rock, like, it would sort of be this one just because it's big circles. If anything was going to be hard rock in theory, like, in theory, not actually not in the practice. Maps, it would be the CS5 Air 8. But the CS5 but, Air 8 is not easy for hard rock. Yeah, no, that This is like the rock. most hard rock favorite pick, and it's not that hard rock favorite. Did you see? Like, did you see Blazink and Ignite both missing, and then Yuki Chan following up right after the Ki. So, Sinar Detka gonna have a bit of a lead here in the second verse. Zin still on the SS as well as Okunatori, the two uh, Nomad players on that side. Don't know much about Zen. He's the, the one player in uh, in Sinar that could I don't quite know that well. Yeah, I'm really unfamiliar with him too. I don't know what I've seen him in prior to this, but uh, but him and Okunatori are both obsessing. And, and, and Yuki Chan breaks. Yuki Chan breaking again. again. Speaking of both assessing, they're both no longer assessing. And Ignite finds another break for himself, so the pro and Shiner are gonna try and do what they can. Okay, apparently Mario is just writing something about T1G every single time he has a chance to smoke. <laughs> he likes you. He likes me a whole lot. Actually, I think he's just tired of me shit talking him because he's always late to maps. He's always the last person to join every map he's in for. Okay, okay, yeah, Notori just died. But Zin's still holding. There's one more awkward pattern in the solo here. After these bursts. Oh, Mario broke. And Yuki Chan broke again. So it's literally just Shiner combo against Desu and Zin. So this is pretty. Oh, over. I didn't even realize Desu is also. Yeah. His act was kind of questionable. So I think we've just not been paying close attention for some reason. I don't know. Blazing missed the West Shiner. Shiner yeah, it doesn't, it we'll doesn't seal the matter deal. at this point. We'll seal A the deal. A splash of X. A splash of Miss. A splash of hit miss PNG to seal the deal. Combo break PNG. Wait, no, that combo break that wav is the. Yeah, that's, that's the audio. Yeah, I think it's hit zero. Is the miss? And that's a big win for Sayonara Detka. That's very well played by both Zen and Desu. Desu especially. Yeah, I regardless mean, of that. Hard Rock FC even did with barely, like, what, just under 97 ACK. That's pretty pretty good stuff. And that's really, like, we have not had a close map yet. It's been actually, like, just getting bigger. Uh, the, the deficit went from 11 million, then 18 million, then 34 million, then 40 million. Like, these maps have by not that been close. Logic, by that logic, they're going to pick uh, Rainbow Archiver, <laughs> and the team is just not going to play. Or it'll be Ultra Function. And Wait, no, Ra team... Rainbow Archiver is a uh, band. It'll be well, it'll be rainbow fun or uh, ultra function, and one of the teams will miss, will like four miss in the intro, and the other team will FC, and it'll be a hundred million point deficit. Dude, that map is like four minutes, and it could just be two minutes. Yeah, you could end the map after the like ki or whatever you want to call it, the first section, and it just, the outcome would be the same. Yeah. It'd be just like that hidden map from two weeks ago, where you knew who was gonna win halfway through every single time it was played. It's more so that like the hard part is at the start, and then 
Like the whole, uh, the whole, the whole rest of the map is just kind of free. Nomad Four. That's uh, the Kalibe map. Yeah, this is the Kalibe awkward aim control. I'd say this is one of the easiest maps in the pool. Just in general, it has a lot of free combo at the start. Mario's stuck, so you have to kick him. He is gone. He's out of here. Crab. I feel like I don't know if it's if it's his internet or his banjo connection. What he always has weird issues. Help! Mario's trapped in the McDonald's play place. <laughs> anyway, I feel like everyone on Death Sentence and Show Mama kind of hard into the last like third of this map when they played it in that match. So except Coach. Couch. Couch. I can't decide if it's my favorite or my least favorite username change. Coach to couch. <laughs> From coach to couch. Yeah. <laughs> Next he's gonna name change it Cooch. Also, Coach did not play this map. Did I... Oh yeah, sorry. I was thinking of uh, ship mapping techniques. Yeah, this map was actually uh, Singapore versus Hong Kong. It was four Singapore players against four Hong Kong players. Not that the latter is surprising because they only have Lafilia, but... I mean, the, the 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 former is also not surprising because they have like six Singapore players. Yeah, it's six Singapore, one US, one Sweden. Random but they seem Sweden to have, but they to. seem to have Coach or Drev in for a lot of maps. So okay, my Bancho just lagged super hard. Uh, we're. I have eight players in the lobby, just waiting on Eddie to ready up. Eddie, ready, ready. Yeah, I actually just said that twice because it rhymed. That's all. There's a, uh... There's like a car wash near me that's named like Steady Eddie's or something like that too. I think it's funny. Anyway, uh, Eddie Ignite, Will, and Shiner against Zin, Blazink, Darren, and Okino Tori. In the 2 2 tie. Let's see which team will take the lead. Last time, like, in, I remember in the last match, it literally just went aim maps. It was like this, and then Nomad 1, and then Hard Rock 1. They just picked all three aim maps in a row. And I believe uh, Death Sun's won all three of them. Because Coach just carried. This isn't really an aim map. It's like a it's aim like... control, though. Like those, especially. Uh, it's like an alt map with finger control elements, I think. I feel like there's like a decent. Like, you know, Callaway maps always have that kind of like weird angle control aim thing going on in them at some point or other. They'll always, he That's always fair. does those patterns. But it's just like, it, it, since it's very flowy and high BPM, I just feel like it's not map. Yeah, it's, that's reasonable. But you also think everything in this pool is an alt map, so. There's genuinely like six alt maps. Don't, don't at me. Looking at the map, looking at the map pool, I guess you're not really wrong. Eddie. Eddie breaking? Will had already broken as well, so it's two FCs for Will's set Tori also broke very early it was on. super early, yeah. It was like yeah. first 60 combo. Oh, Eddie oh. and Shinru. Okay, well, Will's is blazing. team is gone. They have, I mean, yeah, they you have, can't they miss right now. This is the free combo of the map. Map only gets hard right about now. Yeah, the last third of this is really difficult. It ramps up pretty hard. Zin with Zin? the break. Missing on nothing. They still have Okinatorian oh, no. Darren. Bancho, Bancho, yeah, Bancho. Bancho, okay. I see they... Well, uh, hmm. Ignite is the only combo now on Will's Stets Sons. But he's against Okinatori. He's against Okinatori yeah. and Zin. They make up 7 they million Zin anymore. pretty much. Oh, oh well. Okinatori missing. Everyone from Sinar Deca actually broke. Ignite is still holding on, but I don't think he, he can't bring back 6 million points by himself. Yeah, not this short of a map. And he breaks as well. So that's going to be Sinar Detka taking the point, taking the break point, taking the lead. Break point. Third break point of the match. Uh, shitty statistics says that you are more likely to uh, win if you skip your pick here. Yeah, it's literally been one point won by the team that selected the map, which was uh, frame out three. Everything else has been a break point so far. Oh no, I lied. It was no, it was no, two no, 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 no. both held. Yeah, so it's three of five. 
Roll two. Okay, so we're getting a hard rock here. <laughs> it was it was tank. Three, two, one. Let's jam. Dun -dun 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 -dun. You all love the song. It's a shame the map sucks. So I wonder what the other one they were rolling between was. Do you think it was Tank and Jinsei wa Yume Darake or Tank and Tenohiro de Odoru? Tenohiro. Oh yeah, they rolled two, so it would have been. I don't think rock. anybody, even the the teams that like Hard Rock, want to pick Hard Rock three. It's just very it's RNG. A cool map. It's just okay, yeah. Three, two, one, it's cool to look at. Don't get me wrong. It's cool to watch. The only thing I dislike about this hard rock pool is that all the maps are longer than three minutes. Uh, Tell here is longer than three minutes, really? Yes, it is three minutes and 13 seconds. Doesn't feel like Jinsei it. Jinsei Yume Darake is three minutes and 12 seconds. Tank is three minutes and 16 seconds. They're all very close together in terms of length. Okay, so I think this is the first map that Okinotori is not going to be in for. Generally preferring not to play hard rock. And uh, you are indeed correct with that assessment. So the lineups are going to be Komachi Baka, Blazing, Darren, and Desu versus Mario, Will Stetson, Will Stetson, Eddie, and Shine Rear. Noted hard rock player Will Stetson. I'm surprised Will is stepping in here uh, and not like maybe Yummy, maybe Knight. Ignite's a good alt player, and he's getting better at hard rock recently. I don't know. Just something to consider. Good luck! Good luck! Goof luck! Good luck! Oh. Will we see another breakpoint? Well, shitty statistics says that. It's likely. Shitty statistics says that there is a non-zero chance of this being a breakpoint. <laughs> <laughs> there's at least, there's at least oh, a chance. I, I love the crop on this background because if you're playing at most resolutions, you can't see the the one. So it's just like, okay, three, two, let's jump. I also like how you can hear the hit sounds on this because the song is so quiet. Even though I have hit sounds at like ten percent, will and they're all they're all the same hit sound. They're all drum hit normal. Hey, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I love a good drum. Uh, hit. let's not get into this argument. Yeah, you and your hit sounding, I know. Okay. There's like half of the Also, pool is the fact that they sounding. have a three, two, one slider, but it's on hard rock makes it yeah. really just ruined. No, no, there's an okay slider, and then there's a three, two, one slider, and then I think there's a plane at the end. Dude, the ending slider looks hilarious with hard rock. It's so messed up. That's it. I'm putting on hit sounded maps in Portal, you see. Thank you, Drev. Okay, Drev. Thank you, Drev. Okay, Drev. <laughs> Do you want to die? He's gonna actually upload custom maps for every song where all of the <laughs> sounds are removed. Oh my god, the pro finding the first meaningful break here. Still four way for Sayonara Deathka. Pretty early on, but. To be fair, this is one of the easiest maps in the pool. I think there's two patterns where you can realistically miss and not be considered a shit miss. Okay, so did Darren just shit miss then is what you're saying? Yes, absolutely. There's two like Monstrata alt patterns that you can miss on. This is one of there's them. There's one of them and that found uh, five, four misses? Four misses. And that's going to give Wait, the advantage eight. back to Will Stutt Soils oh. because Eddie and Shiner both held. Oh, Will missing again. Oh, well, Eddie, oh god. No, oh, <laughs> oh, no. General breaks here for Will Stetson's. Oh god. Why well, do you have to do just lost the map. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Komachi Baka still has almost an 800 combo. Komachi Baka's in a C. Yo, you know, sax the only solo? FC. Yo, sax solo anyone? The sax solo is great. But, like, sax part at the end, though, is, like, the classic. Mario, you okay there, buddy? He's perhaps balding. He is, uh, both angry and balding and mad. This is an unfortunate circumstance that, that Mario finds himself in. 
Technically, if Sayonara Deathcut just dies, this would be comebackable, but... Well, mm, yeah. Blaze Ink and Dusty both broke. Okay, they still got Kamachi But Bucket not there. the meaningful combo, yeah. There's only- there's two 400 combos on the list team, it's just not gonna be enough anyway. The other alt pattern is right around here, I think. Uh? Kamachi Bucket Yeah, there you go. That's the alt pattern, Darren you have four a, breaks. Yeah, Darren still has a combo, so it'll be enough for Sino and Edco to not have to worry. Shinru and Mario, though, recovering yeah, really they'll, nicely. Yeah, they'll bring it back a little bit, but it won't be enough. Okay. Into the outro we go. The outro's the best part of this song, dude. Well done to Sayonara Detka, 14 million point win. Avoided I didn't have push to talk on, I would clap for Kamachi Baka. One miss, Kamachi Baka. Nice combo. Very hard, very hard carry. Yeah, best score on his team by 8 million points. I think that says Spasiba something, something. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Fellow single tapper, male straight user. <laughs> Eddie is uh, a spruce Canadian male. Yes. Unfortunately, Will Stetson could only muster up uh, about 8 million points, which uh, is not going to quite cut it on that map, unfortunately. I just said unfortunately twice in one sentence. It's okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> You've fallen upon an unfortunate fate. What's that line? Um, what a horrible night to have occurs. No Machu. Basically, what a horrible night to have occurs. But 5 VPM higher. And 3 minutes shorter. But the song is twice as bad. Or half as good, I guess half I should as say. Good. I like, yeah, I unironically like a lot of Black Dahlia murder tracks, to be honest. I used to listen to them a whole bunch a few years back. Listen to my fair share of that kind of music at that point. I don't know why. Because you were emo. That's not emo. What? That's like I know. I know it's not metal. emo, but it, it, you're edgy. I should say, edgy and emo. I wasn't even trying to be edgy. Was the thing? It was actually I was just listening to like every kind of music there was. So I would like listen to that, and then I'd go listen to like an album by The Antlers, and then I'd go listen to like some jazz or some shit. Like I was that kind of edgy where I just listened to everything. So we're gonna have Yummy coming in. We'll see if he can provide the spark that Will Stet's sons need to get back into this one. Down four to two. Joining Ignite Eddie and Shinru against Zin, Blazink, Darren, and Okinotori. This is, I think, a pretty important point. 2-4 down. You don't want to fall 5-2 down. Yeah. I feel like that's just a really bad spot to be in. Uh, watch out for Yummy on this map. That's what I already said. Definitely right? Yummy and Eddie. This is this is a yum stream maps in general are just Yummy maps. After what he did on like Legend of Black Shorma, for instance. Oh my God. I feel like Will Set Sons just needs more Yummy maps because he carried them super hard last week and he's not been in a lot today. Yeah, they need a bit, uh, a lot more uh, real stamina maps, honestly. Yo, where's my stamina map, bro? Well, what do they even have available? Like, they have this and Queen Bee. Yep. Ignite and Darren both missing on the one jump on this map. Thoughts on 220 BPM death streams? Um, Unfortunate. Still the lead for Will Stet's sons. 
based on solely accuracy. based on that yeah. because Okinotori is running it. Okinotori and Blazink are both running it actually. <laughs> Okinotori is running it a little bit harder, but Blazink is not far in front or behind, combo depending game. on how you look at it. It this is a combo is game, a combo but like, James. It, I hope I really hope Will Set Sons doesn't get combo gamed on this. That'd be really tragic. Okay, Zin breaking. Oh, Zin, Zin breaking. Ignite. Light. Oh, okay, Ignite. it's traded. It's fine. Ignite wasn't an FC though. No, he had missed earlier. Dude, Yummy's Ack, man. Can we just take a moment to appreciate Yummy's Ack on these stream maps? Like, he's actually so good. Uh, well, Ignite fails out, but doesn't matter. We'll set Suns. We'll Even if he one. fails. No, they, still... they they lost without the if the field score oh, didn't okay. count. Yummy in my tummy. I despise you. My miss is solely your fault. So that'll be Willstead Sons getting a point back, and uh, I think just like just just pick around, yummy, dude. That guy's been popping off the last couple weeks. All right, and we are going to get the Tenohira de Odoru pick that we've expected. Since this was the other map they were rolling for on their last pick, it makes sense that it would have been the next one. This will be the AIM high BPM hard rock pick. <laughs> Throwback to OWC, by the way. When they got the worst score <laughs> in the whole <laughs> OWC. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, poor Team Canada, dude. <laughs> That was a really sad moment. I think they got a get, little bit skill capped. To, they got a yeah, little skill capped. When you get to a stage of attorney that you worked hard to get in, and the pullers are just like, actually, no. <laughs> it's just like, fuck you. You're not supposed to be here. Get the heck out. Actually, now that I think about it, this was in semifinals, which they won. Now you that know, I think about it, because they beat Poland and then they beat Hong Kong and got to finals. So they were not skill capped when this map was in the pool. Yeah, this was in semis. Finals? Yeah. Also, you know what that means, right? What does that mean? Uh, this is also semis. Yeah. So they're going to win and go mm. to finals and then get 7 0 mm. by a team way better than them? Hmm. I mean, them, right? the yeah, timeline aren't against, matches. Aren't they against uh, CBT? Well, if they lose, I mean. If they lose, they are against. They're against Death Sentence? Death Sentence, yes. But if they win. Yeah, if they win, they're against CBT, obviously. We discussed that already. So if they win, they get destroyed by a team way better than them. Yeah, CBT, I, I just, I, I don't know what you're supposed to do against that team. I dislike the concept of super I teams. Dislike, I normally don't mind the concept of super teams, I dislike the concept of Konyo's big team in particular, because they're like, <laughs> like, like, that's like blatant, that's like, let's take an NBA team and we're gonna play against a college um, tournament, you know? Like, we're gonna go take the freaking Lakers and play in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> AJT, I'm not gonna play Hippo Cup. Oh, look, a super team. AJT one sees super team for Hippo Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the gif of the car screeching around the corner? <laughs> That's fucking initial D. <laughs> Alright, we got That's a couple breaks early nice. on here. Uh, Blazing yeah, and Darren, as well as Eddie. I feel like the intro is decently difficult. This map kind of just throws you right into it. This map is very tough. Yep, agree. Mario agrees. This is a yummy map, by the way, because everything is uh... a yummy map. I'm I'm just saying it's a yummy map. Whether or not it actually is, I want it to be a yummy map. 
small lead for Will Set Suns, but I believe the combo advantage on the side of Sayonara Detka, especially with Eddie breaking there into the first ki. Nah. That being said, this map is high key the best song in the pool. Like it actually is a banger. Uh, let me check. Like if this isn't, I don't know what is. Coconut Mall's pretty good. That's true, I guess. Coconut Mall, but it's a it's such a completely different kind of song. You can barely even compare it. Yummy finds a break as well as Okino Tori. Well Tank is better. T Tank is better. I'm sorry. All right. Well, you can have that one. There are no FCs left except for Shinery, by the way. Darren and Blazing both with pretty good combos, though. Oh, Eddie. Shiner, it's Shiner and, and Mario kind of versus Darren and Blazing. Shout out to Yummy's act, though. Yeah, Yummy's an act gamer, though. Like, Unfortunate that oh, it's 4v1. Oh, he missed again. And Mario missed. And Mario. I think Will Setson is just kind of lost right there. Uh, they need Darren and Blazing to miss very soon. It's not a big score gap, but it's gonna get big. Um, please, oh, no Bencho, I think. Darren didn't miss. Yeah, I... Well, I'm watching his combo to see if it soups. Uh, oh, okay, Shiner missed. broke, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Also, there's 4 million of difference, and Blazink is still building it. Yeah, Blazink's... It's not over. Yeah. Technically, no, oh. but... Yeah. It's... Nah, nah, I think it's over. Okay, Blazink oh, did miss. Blazink uh, missed. Yeah, there's no combo on Will Stetsons, though. It doesn't yeah. matter. They don't have any way to build the... Like, to decrease the gap. Fairly sure it's over. Yeah. Eddie Especially has... now that nobody should miss again. Yeah, Eddie has like 300, Shiner has 250. Like, they'll bring the gap down ever so slightly, but not gonna be nearly enough. It's gonna be 5 to 3. Has Hard Rock 3 been picked in any match? I don't mm. know that it has. I have not seen it personally. It's been banned a couple of times, but I haven't seen it picked. Ending jumps. Just a formality. Everyone, at this point. everyone jokes yeah, on the end jumps. Nobody hits, nobody hits those ending jumps, dude. Holy cow. Uh, to be fair, this was closer than I expected. Also, yummy with the 99% act, and it just doesn't matter. Score v1. Score v1 moments. Actually, I don't think it would have mattered. I'm pretty sure they would have lost that even with score v1. Or v3. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, 7 million points. They didn't have much of an accuracy lead, really. It was just yummy. Other than that, the act was pretty similar. It was slightly better in favor of Will's set sons, but not by a lot. Uh, do you actually just pick DT2 now and just give it to yummy? Um, I don't think they have enough players for it. They have Yummy. Who else? Oh my god, Yummy let's too? go! Okay. I mean... Yummy Eddie are the true speed players on their team. Ignite, I don't think he has the stamina for this. Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. But I, I'm fairly I, yeah. sure that... Like, Sayonara that because of Blazing. Darren, I'm pretty sure they have a stamina for that. I think picking whoever this, just yeah. whoever really picked no Machu or played no Machu should just play this. I think picking this if you're Will Stet Sons, you're literally just like saying we need Yummy to get an FC and then to kind of back it up as best as we can because that's yeah. pretty okay. much their hope for a map like this. Honestly, on this map, if you're picking it, you have like two players who can actually do the the map like properly you have a player who's hoping to fc double tap and you have a player who's just tanking and then you're hoping for one of their players to miss before the the ending that's how it's been for like two matches in a row i think darren is correct all right, so Yummy, Ignite, Eddie, Shineru, Okino, Tori, Blazing, Darren, Zin. All right, I'm not allowed to say that Shineru has combo at any point in this map. He didn't specify that I shouldn't say it. But so. you can still say it all you want. Yeah. Shineru has one combo. <laughs> all right, take place your bets now. What's the what's the lowest accuracy coming out of the intro, and who's gonna miss? Uh, coming out of the intro, 87. 
right. That seems pretty standard. It feels like there's always somebody about 87. I don't know how many hundreds you have to hit for it to be 87. That seems to happen. You have to 100, like, half of the first stream. I know because I did it. And Okinotori, 86.67. Blazing pulled there the Mega. And Blazing missed. Meanwhile, four SS's for Willstead Suns. Not that it matters, because it's literally, what, oh, like, 80 combo? <laughs> but... Will anybody miss on the free combo? Somebody usually breaks somewhere stupid on this map. It just seems to happen. And then the streams hit you and people break in places that actually make sense. Yeah, speaking of which, Sh Shineru has a 300 combo. Thank you for that. We needed to make everyone aware. Yes. Also, maybe he just shouldn't watch the stream while also playing in the match. Probably someone said. Yeah, I'm sure somebody said something to him. Yeah. Probably Chez. Screw you, Chez. Chez is a troll. Alright. Into the streams we go. Two. Yummy still assessing. Yummy still assessing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. He actually completely Wow, fell he off missed on the first one. Okay, well, that's not good because nobody from Sayonara Dutka broke. Oh, just oh, kidding. There amazing. goes Blazing. I feel like somebody ends up missing on that last stream into the break here. Like, it just happens. Yummy. Bad. Bad. Yeah, you're not wrong. Blazing like missing again. What is going on? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's three FCs to three though, so still anybody's. Oh, Zin breaking on that buzz Zin slider, on but Eddie breaking right after. So Shiner ignite Okinotori Darren, and they have a big accuracy advantage with Okinotori down at 84. percent Darren has oh, some pretty insane accuracy, by the way. It doesn't matter. The ending will def will decide this one. Oh yeah, it always Eddie does. missing again. Eddie missing isn't the end of the world because Yummy has enough combo to match against Blazing and Zin, but uh, <laughs> especially with Blazing missing. It's, Ign it's Ignite and Shineru, and then Okinotori and Darren just the four. Oh my god, Darren missed on nothing! That has to be Bancho, right? That had to have been Bancho. I don't know. If it wasn't Bancho, the map is just kind of over, I think. Like, unless somebody completely died. Oh! Go oh. up! Shineru? Um, I, okay, well, it did the thing, but at least it wasn't the player in slot one this time. We're going to take a look at the MP link and see what happens here. I think Will Stetson's won. Yeah, Will Stetson's won by a pretty safe margin. It's about mm, 9 million points. Oh, okay, that's where FC double tap and he's on it. <laughs> 81! 81 AK FC, by the way. 81 AK FC. I would clap so hard if I didn't have to hold a button down to speak. Alright, well, that's basically what happens on that map every time it gets played. <laughs> somebody can, somebody somewhere can stream it. Yummy had 98% act. That's a pretty decent compared to yeah, literally everyone else. Yeah, he also missed a bus lighter because he like under tapped it or oh, over tapped um, it or whatever. Actually, like, shout outs to. Blazing 92 ack as well, like <laughs> pretty high quality performance here. <laughs> I mean, 92 is not that bad. 81, dude. Ah, oh, freaking Okinotori, man. I... Why is this not speed? He did his best. Why is this not speed cup? Who wins this in speed cup? I'm pretty sure everyone just has sees this in speed cup. No, I mean in this sure. map, like in this. Oh, you mean lobby. like accuracy? Yeah, if this if this match had just been determined by accuracy, I wonder if uh, Yummy's 98% would have carried them. Who knows? Probably okay. Hard Sorry, rock three. Hard rock though. three. Hard rock three. Hard oh rock three. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is Sayonara Detsuka picking all three free, all three hard rocks in a row. They pick all three free mods in a row, and uh, then they pick yeah, all three hard rocks. One of the free mods was Will's team, though. They picked they pick goodbye, Mr. Jack. Okay, fair. But yeah, Sayonara, Sayonara Detsuka actually has gone free mod, free mod, hard rock, hard rock, hard rock. <laughs> like, we're literally just ignoring <laughs> everything else on that team. They just want to play hard rock, man. By the way, congrats to Malteser for winning. What was the score? Uh, the second match was, I don't know, the first match was 7-1, they haven't posted the second match result yet. 7-3. Okay, so Malteser, as it turns out, is uh, pretty good. Good job, Malteser. Proud of you, buddy. Anyone who hits the slider is the damn Chad.
I didn't even practice this map. I, I, I watched it. I didn't even practice because I knew I wouldn't be able to play it. So I don't know what slider you're talking about. Just, okay, just imagine for a second having a badge with a mudkip on it on your profile page. How chad is that? It's not very chad. It's actually quite, uh... What's the nerdiest name? What, what's the nerdiest uh, name you can find? Is that's a Horus. That's a good question. That's a Horus. Alright. Yummy, Will, Mario, Shinru, Desu, Blazink, Darren, Komachibaka. Versus Will Stetson again. Will Stetson Andra. just playing the hard rock, man. I don't know. They've got their whole team except for, I mean, we're ignoring the fact that Chez is on their team. They have their whole team, like, their actual team. <laughs> we're ignoring the fact that Chez exists. <laughs> yeah, like, they have the seven people who are actually going to participate in matches. This is such a unique map. I don't know. It's 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 just fascinating. I forget where I first saw it. But it was a long time ago. Also, the song is like low key a bop. Not gonna lie. I can't hear it. So I. I mean, I I don't mind the song. I think it's the worst hard rock song though. Yeah, but the other two Hard Rock songs are like actual bangers, so that's kind of unfair. Mario, Mario? first break on really nothing. That's what the, the kids know, call uh, shit misses. Oh, but I think Blazing may have missed, but like it's flashing as the as the client for, like dies. Okay, well Blazing and Will might have missed. I can't tell because of client. Yummy also may have missed. If so, it's three FCs to zero or to one. Excuse me. Miss. Question mark? I just wish I could be confident in calling misses because I don't know if they actually are. Apparently, they all missed except Yummy. No, you mean except Shinru? Hey! <laughs> Darren missed as the game froze. Will? So it's Shinru versus the world, Desu and Komachi Baka being the Double world. Just that. kidding, Komachi Baka is no longer the world. Shinru? Shinru has combo the slider. The slider. All right, we're good. Shinru hits the slider. Shinru and Desu both hit the slider, so it's uh, well, it's a what? The, the, oh. uh, uh, I'm sorry. You said Shinru. I said his name, head. dude. It's honestly, <laughs> he's cursed. Desu, Desu is though, still going. Still a scene. Ninety-one act, ninety act, but does not matter because this is a combo game. Blazink also recovered quite nicely. Yeah, After his ghost question mark miss. This is Sayonara Detka's point to lose now. It's a 7 million point vic uh, lead, not victory, not over yet. Yummy's got a decent combo built back up, but I just, it's just not good. Oh, goodness. What did they all just what miss on? I don't, I don't know. know. They all just missed on the same thing, though. Now the map gets really, really weird, and there's just going to be not much yeah. combo for the rest of it. That's when Blazing Call missing. Komachi Baka is the only one holding so just far. Just kidding. Then, the pro, though, pro is the only holding, one so. with any significant combo. He already doesn't have enough think... combo to make up yeah. 6 million points. Will with a little sad face. It's too bad Will Stetsons does not have, like, any sort of a combo to back up Mario. Because he's doing pretty well for himself. Wow, he actually not hit that, too. Not. This is, uh, this, like, this is honestly a pretty impressive performance from Mario, and it's just not going to matter, unfortunately. I think Desu had, like, a little bit more of an impressive performance, but they both hit different hard parts of the map. I think hitting, comboing, like, the second half of that map, in my opinion, is, is, argue, is probably harder than comboing the first half, but it's still pretty cool to have a big combo on that, no matter what. That is the best score in the lobby uh, for his team from the pro, B -B -B but that's you with the 8 million. B -B -B -B. And it's going to be Reviver, the instant pick here from Will Stett's Sons, down 6-4 match point. Mm. I thought this was a much harder map than it is. But that's not Reviver. Oh, that is. 
You made me question myself for like half a second there, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard- I uh, looked at the source instead of the artist name. This map looked a lot harder before I played it. I'll tell you that much. It's foreseeable for like half the people in this lobby. Sun's trying to stay alive in the winner's bracket here. And they pick the map and everybody just leaves. <laughs> Their whole team. Shiner left the game, Will Setson left the game, Ignite moved. The pro left the game. Who's even playing this for Will Setson? I don't know who has the finger control for this on their team, to be honest. I Eddie have no has clue. the speed. Ignite can probably play this. Yummy, Yummy is guess? doubtful. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think the the um, the aim elements of this map might trip up Yummy. Oh, and I have no so, idea who their fourth yeah. is. Shiner? Yep. Shiner is just their fill player, I feel like. Yeah. Mario randomly joining and then leaving instantly after everyone else was already in and ready. Thank you, Mario, for reprising your favorite role, being an idiot. Wow. Give it up for Mario, everybody. Underscore, underscore, S, underscore, underscore. <laughs> I prefer underscore S. <laughs> I prefer S underscore. Want to make something of it? <laughs> Alright, well, we'll set Suns. This is their uh, last pick, actually. Also a banger. This could be their last pick in the in the uh, winner's bracket, in fact. I thought you were going to say the tourney. No. I was like, what do you they, know? They Yes, they're going to be eliminated from the entire tournament. Their opponent in the loser's bracket actually just gets a free pass, and they double miss or in the first 40 combo. Double oh. or nothing. This, uh, lose on winner's bracket, uh, like, you get eliminated from tourney. Win on winner's bracket, Will you go straight to the finals. Will Stet's sons will be eliminated. <laughs> and actually, they so will far. be eliminated. This is not going well for them at all. I mean, everyone's Everyone's missed. dying. Why can nobody play this map? the highest but... combo. Can... This is actually easy. It, your your guys' match made this look easy. This match is making it look really fucking hard. I don't know what to believe anymore about this map, but nobody in this lobby can play it at all. This is actually comebackable with Ignite's combo. Ignite's just gonna Ignite's try to carry combo, this. Yeah. Let's see if Ignite can hit the solo. The streams in the solo are probably the hardest. Dude, literally everybody's inting except for Ignite. This is insane. Ignite has brought it back. Yeah, Ignite's, Ignite, Ignite does actually hit the solo. Is, Ignite actually solo won this, I'm pretty sure. Because it's 4 million points, so it's actually over. Ignite literally solo won this for Willstead Sons. That's insane. And he missed. What a freaking gamer. I don't even care that he missed. What a gamer. That was an Ignite. That was a nuts combo. Ignut. I have just Ignut. I Wombo, you Wombo. We know what that means. We have the last pick of the match. Ignite just gamed on them. The 600 combo next best was 299. <laughs> what a Ignite best. has the cube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you pick last here if you're Sayonara Detka? This is the final pick of the match Deca? before tiebreaker. What were the bands? Uh, bands were Hidden 3, Hidden 2, and then Nomad 5, DT4. So they have Nomad 1 it's still. This could be Nomad 1 or Nomad 3. I would pick or either ship hidden. mapping techniques or yeah, it is ship mapping. Maybe it's, it's, no, it's ultra function. It's ultra function. Okay. I think if they had fallen, they could have maybe had a couple more picks go their way. Yummy, yeah, my tummy didn't curse me, and I turbo into it, says Darren. <laughs> 
Imagine turbo and ding. That's me. Me and Trev. Me and Trev today. Just. Wow. Majora says, Will Stetson, can you win so we have an objectively easier finals? Can this C word please shut up? Alright, so I mean this is this is just gonna be the same thing as every other time we've seen this map played, right? Uh by that you mean people miss and then someone has a combo. Yeah, exactly. This is a Komachi Okunotori map. I think on the side of Will Stetson's, I would probably expect to see Yummy, Shiner, Will, and Ignite. Maybe Mario. But I think this favors Sayonara Deadka still. Mario must be playing because the countdown is over and Will Set Sons doesn't have four in yet. Demerited! Which means Mario literally has to be in. There he is! Demerited. Look at that! Every freaking time! Mario, if we counted the merits, you would be banned from Hippo Cup. He would literally have like an innumerable amount of <laughs> freaking demerits. Like he'd have seven from or, from every single match. Okay, so um, All right. if this goes to tiebreaker, I'm fairly sure the two longest maps of the pool will be played back to back. Uh, Nomad One exists. Is Nomad One longer than Nomad One's the longest map of the pool other than the tiebreaker? Blah. By a lot. Like, it's a minute longer than this map, or 50 really? seconds. Yeah, this, if, if, this, feel, this, this map feels really long. Yeah, this map's 3 minutes, 12 seconds. It feels longer, and uh, Nomad 1 is 4 minutes. Nomad 1 feels feels its length, though. Nomad 1's always feel long to me, though. Yeah, because like, Nomad 1 sucks. Yeah, Nomad it's 1. Nomad time. 1 always sucks, dude. Every Nomad 1 sucks. Hot take. Hot take. I hate the concept of Nomad 1. Okay, Notori and Zin breaking very early on. Not gonna have any effect on the outcome in all likelihood. Abolish Nomad 1. Honestly? Signed a zero aim player. You know, I was looking at a pool uh, from 111 Ultra last night, and it was really weird because Nomad 1 for one of the rounds was uh, Railgun Roulette. <laughs> and I was like, yes. oh, this isn't actually Nomad 1. <laughs> it's just in the Nomad 1 slot. Yummy in my tummy, Zin, Desu, Komachi Baka, the Pros 365, and Will Stetson, and Naoki Notori all have combo. missed. Yeah, the only combo is Shine Roof. Literally the only combo. This is, um, fascinating. <laughs> this is, uh, maybe a little bit of nerves going on? I don't know. That's a lot of breaks. Zin, Komachi breaking, Will breaking. Oki Notori getting slow slidered, I think. Yep, he did. So... If Shiner can hold on just a little bit longer, he'll get to the free combo. Mario breaking. Yummy, though, has a combo built back up a little bit here to help out Shiner. Desu breaking. Desu, the highest combo of Shiner deck of breaking. Is this actually... This isn't actually going to happen. This is going to... Is this going to happen? Zin breaking? It's Komachi, Baka, and Okinotori. And things get a little more intense here. Desu, Yummy, and Will both breaking, though. Shineru is just so carrying. It's, it's Shineru against the world. Well, actually, Mario has a 300 combo as well. Komachi and Okinotori both doing okay. But we're going to get through the difficult part here relatively quickly. Oh, Shineru broke on nothing! I think he, he's done his part, though. I don't know if he has. We're only halfway through. Okino okay, Komachi broke. The pro Okinotori! No, this is comebackable. Desu and Okinotori so. both have combo above anyone from Will Set Suns, dude. I mean, right now is certainly the more free combo of the map. Desu but and Okinotori have enough combo to bring this back, I'm fairly they sure. Oh, Okinotori broke! Not now to miss! Oh my god, how do you miss there? Oh, that is tragedy. Okinotori literally just said, I'm walking into their turret and dying for free. So Desu, the only combo, and I don't think it's enough for him to bring it back single-handedly with the combos that are on both sides on the rest of the player. Hey, you will breaks, though. 
I really hope Desu doesn't need to blink really badly right now. I really hope he's not feeling short of breath. Shut up. <laughs> it's a six million point difference and we're coming out to the ending here. I think Will Stetson's has done enough, but it's, I, I think, yeah? The, the, yeah. Holy moly, dude. That break from Okinotori was actually tragic because that just changed the outcome of that the map. That break cost them the map? Yeah. Maybe the match? It could have cost them the entire match, depending on what happens, because we are now going to tiebreaker. I guess Shiner really did do his part. 29 million points. It was enough. We're gonna give him a little extra long timer for the tie break since obviously there's no pick timer. Whew. Well, this is our third tie break. This round has really uh, proven pretty exciting, I'd say. Chomama in two different tiebreaker matches, and now our last match of the weekend coming down to the tiebreaker between Wilstead Sons and Sayonara Detka. I don't know who wins this. Like, I really have no idea who wins this TB. There's so many places you can miss. And there's so much pressure and so much online. Honestly, for getting, like, how can I say this? Um, for letting this match go to tiebreaker, I think Sayonara Deca has have just thrown the advantage. I'm pretty sure both Stetsons have momentum. And I'm, uh, this map would be fairly even otherwise. But all it takes in a tiebreaker in a score v1 tourney is one combo. This was, uh, the Soba Noodles and Hello Tom Law in the previous match. Dude, Hello Tom Law actually popped off. 99 Ack and one slider break, or two, maybe two slider breaks, something like that. They win? No, they lost. It was really, because Ryushi, like, turbo into it. They lost by 10 million points, and Ryushi had the lowest score by 12 million points. I like the term turbo into I know, it's really good. I need to use it more. <laughs> All right, we are gonna see Yummy Mario ignite Shineru. So Will does go out against Zin, Desu, Darren, and Okinotori. Does that seem like optimal rosters? Um, I guess it is probably. Uh, I think some of our are putting their best players available. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of weirded out by ignite, just because this doesn't seem like this kind of map. Even though he's been playing pretty well. I'm like surprised either Eddie or Will aren't playing. Or Yuki-chan just hitting it. Yeah, I, I actually... I actually because kind of expected Yuki. Well. It's actually gonna be Ignite running hidden, interestingly enough. We are gonna see a mod. I mean, he's a hidden main. So... It would be the same as Will running hidden. Wouldn't be that surprising. All right, well, here we go. Last map of the round. This is gonna decide the second winner's finalist. Send a team down to the loser's bracket. Okinotori, very early break. Obviously doesn't matter. Like you said, map this long comes down to one, maybe two players holding a couple of big combos in difficult sections where other people just find Untimely misses, or timely misses, even. I don't know. This feels like a map where you can just, like I said, you can really just miss fucking anywhere. 
There's so it there's there's like some free combo, but not a oh Zin breaking in the Speaking free combo. Of. <laughs> Speaking of, you know, oh, there's only one. There's only one thing I can say to that, which is just don't miss. I mean, it didn't even end up mattering because Ignite broke right after. Yeah, but don't miss. Yeah, just honestly, just don't miss. It's true. Just FC forehead. Just Every hits. miss makes it more unlikely. Wait, how did win the type? Zin just missed like twice, and we haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. A little bit of combo advantage to Will Set Suns. Very early on still, of course. We'll see. Uh, first drop is going to come in here. I think we'll learn a lot. Fairly sure none of the Darren with a break. Idea. The only miss in that section. And Desu. Oh my goodness. Okay, Yummy. the only combo for Sayonara Deka. Yummy miss. And but... he's just oh, he's just full hundreding this ring. So it's Mario and Shinru. Shiner finding a break on that little weird oh, one-third no, pattern. Oh goodness, everybody breaks from Will Setsun. Everybody breaks, but Will Zin... Setsun is 7 million ahead. Zin is the only combo on Sayonara Detka, and he's got about 450. Everybody else is kind of running it a little bit. It's going to be a lot on Yummy here to try and maintain this combo, but Shiner and Ignite are actually doing a good job of building back up to try and back up that combo too. Zin has a solid combo, and there's a... but... Dude, let's not talk about it. Yeah, we're just gonna watch and see, I suppose, at this point. It's Yummy and Shiner are gonna do everything they can here. Mario missing. It's only 6 million points. This one's still pretty pretty close. Still just barely halfway through, not even. Oh boy. This is where it's really advantageous to have that big combo on Zin. It's really gonna chip away at the lead. And Yummy breaking. Oh, Yummy oh, was boy. the biggest combo, right? Oh, uh, Shinryu. And Mario. And Darren. Oh, well, that's going to be the lead going to go over to Sayonara Deathkite here. 7 million to 2 million. Now 1 million. Yeah, it's coming back. There's three big combos on Sayonara Deathkite and only one. Well, Darren missing again. Kind of two. Yeah. But Zin, Desu, and Oki, no, Tori. Got a lot of free combo there. Ignite! Ignite right. had a. Fairly decent yeah, yeah, combo. Yeah, he, he had a little over a 400 combo. This now is the time to establish a lead. Yeah, this is completely in Sayonara Deathkite's favor now. They have a huge combo advantage. They're going to build up a pretty sizable lead until uh, anybody breaks. And of course, the I client. That, come yeah. on. Come on. Come on. There we go. At this point, if Shinru breaks, the game is over. Shinru is Wolstetson's only hope. Another break from Darren. But... The film completely missing a stream. Boy, you know, Darren is Darren is missing all over the place and it just doesn't matter at all because he's taking all of the misses for his team and nobody else is missing anything. I'm pretty sure Sinar Dead could just win now. Shiner broke Ignite oh, broke, Shiner that's broke it. On the it's, it's actually Yeah, it's actually over. Desu and Okinatori just held through that section. It's it's over. I'm, it's over. It's it's 21 million points. Everybody missed. Yummy has the only combo, however, that's way too big yeah, of a lead. He, he can't bring back 20 million points on his own. Alright, well that's going to be Sayonara Detka. Looking like they'll be making their way into the winner's final. We will get Sayonara Detka versus Konyo's big team next week in the winner's final after a very close match. It was closer than I expected. Really closer than I think anybody expected, yeah. But 7-6, to six, they're going to come out on top in the end. Those big combos through that middle middle third. Zin and Okinotori. Yeah. And, I mean, Dasu too. It was literally just everyone yeah. on their team except Darren. Like, no offense to Darren, but everybody on their team except Darren. Darren, you know what they say about good luck charms? That they soak up the bad luck? Well, Darren just soaked up all the bad luck. And it's going to end up being about a 15 million point win on the tiebreaker absolutely huge performances from some important players when it mattered shit map shit says shiner map. okay so he's molding a little bit well but i mean i don't disagree but at the same time i don't think the well, the end slider is the really the place to write that all right well gg will play sayonara detka moving on 
good game, guys. That was a fun match. That was an exciting one. I'm a big fan of good matches like that. I just want to like say that I have the semifinals curse because both teams, both teams I've been in, have both lost the semifinals. Such is life. Um. Oh, so, oh. with that said, <laughs> Dada's semifinals curse, but you know you gotta go to the losers bracket and see what happens there, right? And die to Poga. Die to Poga. It's okay. Everyone dies to Poga or CBT eventually. It's inevitable. Um. <laughs> Death taxes and getting your cock and balls crushed. <laughs> So, <laughs> Piece of Cake versus Pocket Galaxy, Will Stett's Sons versus Death Sentence, Konyo's Big Team versus Sayonara Detka, and then of course the winners of the two losers bracket matches. Those will be your matchups for next week, starting on Saturday. Um, we will presumably have a map pool showcase at some point later on this evening. I do not know when. Habib has not said anything to me. I don't know that he even exists today currently. Um, but. You know all the usual stuff, follow the stream, follow the Discord servers, so you get all the announcements when they come in. Thank you for joining us, thank you for commentating Dada, appreciate you being here. So I don't have to do it all alone again, because I've been commentating I, I'll, a lot. I'm just here so I won't get fine. Yeah, alright. And uh, GG will play to all the winners today, Sayonara Detka here, the latest. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Here we go yeah. host, um, Someone. Osu Swedish Draft Cup. That's what we're gonna do. You can also host a uh, Yuri Cup. Nope. Really want. Nah. <laughs> Swedish Draft Cup appears to have just started. So. Right. Is Couch will... playing my favorite Swede? Nope, I haven't heard of any of these people. Yes, he is. I lied. He is. He is. He is. He is. Go say hi to Couch. Go wish. Go wish him good luck as he uh, tries to win another match today. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Have a great one. <laughs>